Coupe on ice of a center of redemption Getting farther, I'm living bad religion I'm dying as a martyr I pray war in heaven, war in heaven Now for the cool have flames in my heart Down with holy water Coupe on ice of a center of redemption Getting farther, I'm living bad religion I'm dying as a martyr I pray war in heaven, war in heaven Now for the cool have flames You paid Madman, right? Of course you paid Madman. I'm so glad we took care of that. Now we can move on with our lives. What's wrong? You okay? Renee, I got some bad news. Please tell me you paid Madman. <laughs> well, why not? Here, give me the money so I can pay it myself. Trey. Trey! Trey, what the hell is going on? The money's gone. What did you just say? The money's gone. I lost it. You lost it? How the hell did you lose it? The money's gone! Damn! Look, I'm, I'm sorry, babe. I didn't mean to yell at you like that. You wasn't even supposed to go down. Look, baby, I'm gonna get the money as soon as possible. I'll figure it out. Get the fuck out! Get in. I said, get in. So where's my money? Look, my, my, I'm, I'm working on it, man. I, just, just give me a little bit more time, man. I, I Do you have, have my money, Trey? I, I don't, man. But I, I might have it. Just give me a little bit more See, time, I, man. This shit ain't adding up. See, your girl called me early and told me you was bring my money tonight. So why don't you have my money? Look, man. I, I got some of it, man. But as soon as I get it, shut man, up. Freedom. Hell. I put my fucking life on the line every day for my money. I earn every penny the hard way, you hear me? Then y'all came to me. Y'all came to me begging, asking for some cash. But your girl all crying and shit, talking about being the victim. Because you weren't man enough to handle business. But you see me, being the kind hearted gentleman I am touched by her tears. So why helped you out? You, not her. I helped you. Because you're supposed to be the man. You're supposed to take care of business. Look, man, I, I'll have your money, man. I Let's said, shut up! Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything that I did to you. I'm sorry for hurting you. And I'm sorry for bringing you in this mess. And I didn't mean for none of this to happen. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. For, uh -uh. for what to happen? Don't trust the girl. To Don't trust her. To hold like that and put you in a situation where there's another woman. He was just trying to get in between your legs, girl. He lying. He's lying. Apology. He, I, he's lying. I brought you on this show because I wanted to confess how I felt about you. I 
Hello? Yes, this is Lisa. Oh, hi, Mrs. Sarver. How are you? It's good to hear from you. Wait, what? So you didn't get the $2,500 that I pledged at the orphanage. But I had it dropped off in cash. You know what, Mrs. Tarver? Um, let me look into this and I'll give you a phone call back, okay? All right, thanks. Girly, how are you? Honey, we have missed you around this office over the last few days. <laughs> and Porky, girl, he is falling apart. Good, I hope he falls apart into the 2,500 lion ass, selfish ass, pieces of crap that he is. He deserves it. Girl, he is not that bad. Besides, what happened between the two of you? Look, man, I didn't know how to talk about it. You dropped the money off the orphanage, right? Yes, I did it the same day you asked me to. And uh, you didn't tell Keith or Steve which orphanage you dropped it off at, right? No, no I didn't. And you dropped it off in cash? Lisa, what's with all the questions? Yes, of course I did. You know what, Mary? I'm just a little tired. You think? Let me get some rest and I'll talk to you later. Okay. Talk to you later. Get some rest. I see how it is. But two can play that game. Man, I don't know what to do. It's been almost a week. She's not returning any of my calls. She hasn't even been to work. God, I feel terrible. Damn, man. Situation with Lisa really has you messed up, huh? Yes, it does. And I'm hardly ever concerned about a woman like this, but for some reason, this situation just got me twisted. Well, look. Feel free to talk to me about anything. I'm here for you, man. I lied to her. I didn't really lie to her. I just made her believe that I was willing to do some things that I wasn't really willing to do, you know, to get close to her. Which is totally normal. Man, that's not lying at all. Right. Just like in business, you tell the customer what they want to hear to get the sale. <laughs> She's not the first woman that I've done this with. And don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm against philanthropy or anything. I just didn't want to donate the extra $2,500 because saving it was a better business move, you know? Exactly. Yeah. And she's the one that should feel bad. She lied to you, Keith. You know what, Steve? You are right. Yeah. Here I am feeling down about myself and she's the one that's in the wrong. She better be glad I'm not pressing charges. Or reporting to that orphanage she donated to with the money was stolen. <laughs> Hell yeah. Man, you're doing her a favor. Yeah. You know what? If I was you, I'd go straight over there and tell exactly how you feel. Not to mention, man, you're CEO. You can do way better than her. Steve? You right? Yeah. How dare she turn this on me? I appreciate it. I'm about to go see about it right now. Anytime, man. the good news. What? Congratulations on your bonus. What? 
I overheard you talking to your daughter on the phone the other day about the $2,500 bonus you received. It's funny though. Keith never mentioned anything about a bonus. And I know it wasn't in the budget. Maybe I should ask him about it. You are such a nosy snake. <laughs> I'm a snake? Yeah, you are. Last time I checked, I was the one running around lying and stealing. And just think, poor little Lisa. Taking the fall for you and she doesn't even know it. Steve, you Look! I know about your little secrets. And if you want to keep them secrets, you need to start treating me with some respect. Matter of fact, why don't you go order us some lunch? <laughs>